Hello friends and welcome back to another virtual story time with Miss Liz. This is our first story time in the year 2021 and I'm so excited to continue to read to you all in the new year. This year I think all of us are going to be doing and learning new things and in the spirit of newness I chose a book about something that was new to me and might also be quite new to you as well. It is a sport called rugby. Rugby is a little like soccer, a little like football, but really it's a game all its own. And in this book, we're going to use the alphabet to help us learn more about rugby. This is called R is for Rugby, an alphabet book by Mike Petrie, illustrated by Max Thompson and published by Augusto. On the title page, you'll see a special note in this book. It says, For Miss Liz and the Children of Queen Memorial Library from Mike Petrie. I'm very grateful that the author Mike was kind enough to donate this book to our library. Thank you, Mike. All right, here we go. R is for rugby, a gentleman's game. A schoolboy in England gave rugby its fame. This alphabet book will look at each letter to help understand the sport a bit better. And as we all know, the alphabet starts with A. A is for anthem. With hand over heart, it's a time to be proud. We all stand as one and together sing loud. And next comes B. B is for ball. The ball for this sport is an odd, funny shape. It is oval, not round. It resembles a grape. C is for cap. A cap is awarded when playing a test. It's small and embroidered with the national crest. D is for drop goal. A difficult kick. The ball drops on its nose. It bounces back up and is struck with your toes. Looks like this young person is about to try for a drop goal and their dog is very excited as well. Next we have E. E is for eight. The base of the scrum, he wears number eight. He runs like a bull and tackles just great. So in the game of rugby, the numbers on the jerseys mean different types of players. Isn't that cool? After E comes F. F is for fly half. This number 10 is a jack of all trades. He can run, pass, or kick while he calls all the plays. After F is G. G is for grubber. G is for grubber. It's a kick on the ground. Quite tricky to catch as it bounces around. And because the rugby ball is shaped like an oval, it makes it hard to tell where it's going to go. Next we have H. H is for hooker. In front of the pack, without using hands, they hook the ball back as fast as they can. Then we have I for inside center. One of two centers that work as a pair, patrolling the middle, so runners beware. Here are the inside centers. Next we have J. J is for Jersey. Known for the stripes and also the collar, a patch on the chest is a symbol of honor. There's the rugby jersey. Then we have K for kicker. Set the ball on a tee and take a step back. Line up the angle and give it a whack. This young person is about to make a kick. Then we have L. L is for line out. The ball is thrown in when it goes out of bounds. They lift the tall locks way up off the ground. Looks like these two players are both trying to catch the ball as it's thrown back in. Then we have M. M is for mall. In this type of play, ruggers stay on their feet, 
pushing together as opponents retreat. Here we have the Ruggers that are trying to block their opponent, and it looks like they might have a hard time getting through this line of players. After M is N. N is for nine. The scrum half is the link between forwards and backs. He wears number nine and starts the attack. After N is O. O is for offload. It's a lot like making a pass. In the midst of a tackle at the end of a run, toss to a mate and continue the fun. Then we have P. P is for prop. The numbers they wear are a one or a three. Each giant prop is as big as a tree. And indeed, they are a lot bigger and taller than the referee here. Then we have Q. Q is for quick tap. A penalty choice so the team can move quick. A tap with your foot will do just the trick. Then we have R. R is for ruck. When a runner goes down, he may seem to be stuck, but the play does not stop. They instead form a ruck. Then we have scrum. S is for scrum. It's a synchronized push to compete for the ball. Crouch, bind, and set. Engage on the call. Here they are here with a scrum. Then we have T. T is for try. Cross over the line, touch the ball down to score. Five points on the board and hear the crowd roar. So a try is like making a goal. Then we have U. U is for up and under. This type of kick goes up very high. Up, up and away. It soars into the sky. And it looks like it went way over the opposing player in this page. Then we have V. V is for victory. No matter who wins, cheer hip, hip, hooray. Opponents shake hands for a great game today. I think that is a very important part of playing sports. It's having fun no matter who wins the game. Then we have W. W is for wing. Fast as a cheetah, these wingers can fly, showing her speed, racing in for a try. Here is a wing and look how quickly she is running. Next we have X. X is for X play. The most basic play is an old fashioned switch. One player will strike, but it's hard to tell which. Then we have Y. Y is for yellow card. Uh-oh, what's going on in this picture? Sometimes a player does something unfair. Sin bin for 10 minutes alone in a chair. Hmm, sounds a lot like a time out if you make a bad mistake in the game and you do something wrong. Then we have our last letter Z. Z is for zigzag. The fullback is quick. He will zig and then zag. He scurries around like a fast game of tag. And it looks like he did make it around many of his opponents. So we came to the end of the alphabet, everybody. Here's one last verse. R is for rugby, but it doesn't stop there. This wonderful sport is a game we should share. I learned a lot about rugby by reading this book, and I hope that you did too. We see at the end in the About the Author section that the author, Mike Petrie, is a very accomplished rugby player, and it's no surprise that he wrote this book about his favorite sport. Thanks again to Mike for donating this book to the library, and thank you all for reading with me for this first story time of the new year. I will see you tomorrow for more great books. Happy New Year, everybody.